Hi guys, I'm Natasha. Welcome to our series on the armor of God. We're so glad that you are here joining us this week. In this series, we're learning about what the armor of God is and why it's so important. We're going to start by singing a song about our memory verse, 1 Corinthians 16, 13. And it says, be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Let's sing it together. That was a great song. Our memory verse can help us to remember how God gave us the armor of God so we can be protected and so we can defeat our enemy, Satan. Satan wants us to do bad things and tries to prevent us from having the kind of life that God designed for us. But God is good and even more powerful than any evil in the world. He wants us to have a life full of joy and goodness. Even though God's armor is invisible, it is still very real and we can use it every day. All right, guys, now it's time to watch an episode of Next Level Sports. We will get to see old tapes of Pastor Steve helping kids take their sports skills to the next level. Let's check it out and see what he's up to so he can teach us more about sports in the armor of God. Hey guys, welcome to my new show called Next Level Sports Edition. This is where I help you take your sports skills to the next level. Woo! Next level. You got it, you got it. Well, sports is a beautiful thing. It's amazing and I love it. One of the most incredible sports ever developed is the game of football. This is my favorite. I love playing football, but you know what? If I'm not playing football, I love to tailgate. You know what that is? Tailgating is when you go to the stadium with your friends, your family, and you get out grills, and you cook hot dogs and hamburgers and talk about football. Hey, why don't I just do that now? <laughs> anyway, I've been helping professional athletes as well as kids all over the world take their sports skills to the next level. And this time, I'm gonna show you when I took a couple of kids who wanted to play the game of football and they really weren't all that good, I help them take their sports skills to the next level. Check it out. Welcome back to my newest show called Next Level Sports, where we take your everyday average boring sports and we take them to the next level. Next level. Today we're gonna hear from Baron and Zeke as they try to take their football skills to the next level. Let's see what they said. Okay, I definitely see what's going on here. In order to take their football skills to the next level, next level, we need to focus on agility 
control, and most importantly, protection. We don't, not only have to protect the ball, but we have to protect their bodies, and most importantly, their heads. So let's take this to the next level. Next level. Oh, but before I go, check out this next level coaching tip. Next level. Welcome back to Next Level Coaching Tips. This week, we are gonna talk about wearing a mouth guard. It's very important, it protects your teeth, it protects your skull. Most people don't wear one though, why? Because they say it makes you talk funny, and that's not true. You can talk just fine with a mouth guard in. And another typical critique of a mouth guard is that you can't drink water while you have a mouth guard. It works just fine. Even if the spout doesn't work that well, you can just drink it like a regular cup. This has been Next Level Coaching. Next Level. Hey, pass me the ball, I'm open. Zeke Barron, let's take football to the next. What happened to you guys? We and Zeke were playing football and we wore these helmets for protection. Yeah, I totally got owned in the head earlier and I found these old helmets, but I don't think they do that much help. Okay, I think I see the problem here. You guys definitely need some better head protection. Head injuries in sports are very dangerous and could even be fatal, so we have to make sure you guys are protecting your head. And I'm gonna take your helmets to the next level. Next level. Let's do this, I'll be right back. Next level. Whoa, what's that? This is how we're gonna take this to the next level. Perfect. That is how you take your helmets to the next level. Now you have thousands of tiny little feathers protecting your little brains. This is cool, I guess, but I don't think my brain is fully protected. Yeah, Coach Steve, it protects the top of my head, but not the front or the back of my head. Hmm, okay, you guys do make a good point because good head protection should offer 360 degrees of cover, right? But why don't you guys try these designs out while I think of something new. Go ahead. Hmm. Zeke and Baron make a very good point. These helmets need to be taken to the next level. We need to think bigger. Hmm. Pause! As you can see, I was trying to create a next level helmet. The helmet's so important in the game of football. You can't play the game of football with all those pads on running around without a helmet. It's incredibly important because this helmet protects your head, your face, and specifically your brain. You can't go out on the football field without one of these. You have to have it. And what's interesting is that God gave us a helmet that we can put on every day. And it's illustrated here with our Roman soldier. Remember, the Apostle Paul wrote these words as God gave it to him, and he told us about the armor of God. It's invisible, we can't see it, but it's powerful and it is real. And the battle that we're fighting with our enemy, Satan is bad, God is good. That battle happens all around us. We can't see it with our physical eyes, but it's actually there and it's happening. God's given us this armor, all these pieces of equipment. They're invisible, but they're powerful. We can put them on each and every day. And the Apostle Paul used the example of a Roman soldier so that we could have an understanding of what each piece of the armor is. And this time we're talking about the helmet of salvation. Now, can you imagine if a Roman soldier goes out onto a battlefield without his helmet? Oh, he would be in danger. And, and I'm sure he would be worried the whole time and just panicked that something was gonna hit him in the head because there were things flying all over the place. Swords, arrows, spears, uh, even rocks were coming at him from all directions. And the helmet protected their face, their head, and the back of their head so they could go out onto the battlefield, they could be confident, and they can be assured that their head was protected, just like a football helmet protects a football player. But in the spiritual world, God gives us what's called the helmet of salvation. And the Apostle Paul said it like this. He said, put on salvation as your helmet. And we put on the helmet of salvation for the very first time whenever we ask Jesus to be the Lord of our life. Whenever we surrender our life to Him and say, Jesus, I want you to be the boss of my life. We are surrendering our life to Him and we are now saved. Salvation means we're saved from sin. And it's, it's a free gift that Jesus gives us. And we put on that helmet by surrendering our life to Christ. And then the helmet remains on our head. And because we have salvation, because our sins are forgiven, we have confidence. 
And the enemy can't make us afraid of what's going to happen tomorrow or in the future or what happens if this goes wrong and that goes wrong. We don't have to worry because we have the helmet of salvation. We're saved from our sins. We know that if we've made Jesus the boss of our life, that we're going to spend forever in heaven with him one day. And we can have peace and confidence and assurance that everything is going to work out because we serve the mighty God of the universe. And maybe you haven't made that surrender. Maybe you have. And if you have, then you're wearing the helmet of salvation. And we continue to wear that each and every day when we trust God, we follow Him, we obey Him. But maybe you've not done that. And if you haven't, then in just a few minutes, you're going to have an opportunity to do that right there where you are with your leader. And you can just say, Jesus, I believe you are who you say you are. And I love you. And I have bad things in my life. And I ask you to forgive me for that. And I surrender my life to you. I want to make you the boss of my life. And when you do that, you're putting on the helmet of salvation and that helmet stays with you. So if you haven't done it, guys, my prayer is that you'll do that today. Now, we're going to go back because what's about to happen is going to blow your mind because we're going to take these guys' sports skills to the next level. Next level. Zeke, Baron, get over here. The pillows just aren't cutting it. In order to take this to the next level, I'm going to need your help. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Let's do this. Next, Next level. level! Next level! Whoa, oh. cool! This is awesome! That's Whoa. right, that's how you take it to the next level. Not only do you guys have these high-tech 360 degree protection football helmets, but we've added these big old balloons on top for added protection. Why don't you guys go try out this your new is helmets? Awesome! We love you guys, we'll see you next time on Next Level Sports! Next level! Pass, I'm open! Next level. Wow, that was a great video. Pastor Steve taught us so much about the armor of God and how to take our sports skills to the next level. Remember, God gives us the armor of God so we can be protected and so we can defeat the enemy. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time.